Who is this king that the angels announced, and the shepherds adored, and the wise men worshipped? The New Testament says this of Jesus the Christ. Christ is the exact likeness of the unseen God. He existed before God made anything at all, and in fact, Christ himself is the creator who made everything in heaven and earth, the things we can see and the things we can't see, the spirit world with its kings and kingdoms, its rulers and authorities. All were made by Christ for his own use and glory. He was before all else began, and it is his power that holds everything together. It was through what his son did that God cleared a path for everything to come to him, all things in earth and in heaven. For Christ's death on the cross has made peace with God for all by his blood. This includes you who were once so far away from God. He has done this through the death on the cross of his own human body. And now as the result, Christ has brought you into the very presence of God, and you are standing there before him with nothing left against you, nothing left that he could even chide you for. The only condition is that you fully believe the truth, never shifting from trusting him to save you. This is the wonderful news that came to each of you and is now spreading all over the world. I now see my need, I know Christ can meet it. The work is begun, and he will complete it. The Spirit's compelling me to come, to receive the forgiveness of sin. I know Jesus died to take me to glory, the scriptures make plain that wonderful story. And now with a simple faith I come to receive the forgiveness of sin. There's deep inner peace if I will believe it. Is pure, he'll help me 
achievement. The Spirit's compelling me to come to receive the forgiveness of sin. He wants me to have a life full of blessing. The Spirit in power each moment possessing. So now with a simple faith I come to receive the forgiveness of sin. song in the beginning, ere earth was formed or time begun, when morning stars all sang together in adoration of the Ages. There'll be one song, one song alone. That song will be of Christ the Savior, the great Redeemer upon his Christ was born in holy manger, the angel host with shining wings sang songs of praise and adulation above the cradle of the King. Ages. There'll be one song, one song alone. That song will be of Christ the Savior, the great Redeemer. And now, just as you trusted Christ to save you, trust him too for each day's problems. Live in vital union with him. Let your roots grow down deep into him and draw up nourishment from him. See that you go on growing in the Lord and become strong and vigorous in the truth that you were taught. Let your lives overflow with joy and thanksgiving for all that he has done.
wish that we could be with you personally to share our experience of joy about the wonder of God's gift to us, Jesus Christ, I think we'd have a warm time of fellowship, wouldn't we? I know we'd all benefit from it. Let me just pass on to you, in behalf of Al Lepp and the Singers, the deep gratitude that we feel toward you for having a part with us in presenting God's wonderful good news on the air. Thank you for praying with us for your gifts that have made it possible to extend this ministry, and for the feeling that you're one with us in this service. And we look forward to an exciting new year. God bless you. We are one in the bond of love. We are one in the bond of joined our spirit with the spirit